Hey everyone, um, I decided to do this vlog today in memory of my friend Claire. She passed away last year. Um, she should have been 33 years old today. Um, she had Down syndrome, lupus. She had quite a lot of uh, medical problems, uh, emotional problems, but she was also one of the sweetest, kindest, nicest, funniest, understanding, compassionate people you could wish to meet. Um, when my dad was told he had cancer. Um, I rang her up to tell her, and she was, you're coming down to my house, come down to my house. I'm like, no, I've got to wait for my mum and dad to come home. Um, she was, in that case, I'm coming to your house on a Saturday. But Saturday came, and she came down, and she said to my dad, um, are you your child treatment car? And my dad's like, yeah, I do. I have to have chemotherapy at the Christie in Manchester. And Chloe went, oh, right, okay. I've had chemo. And my dad was like, yeah, you had it for your lupus, didn't you? And Chloe was like, yeah, I did. And my dad said, well, what is it like then? You really want to know what it's like? And my dad's like, yeah. Well, I'll tell you now, the air will drop out and you will be as sick as a dog. Now, both me and Claire, um, we was 17. Claire might have just turned 18. Because that was one of the things she always used to say to me. That she, was, she may be a year below me, but she was older than me. <laughs> and she would never... Let me forget it. Uh, but she she was the oldest. When I was in school, I was, it would always be like, you have to listen to me, I'm your elder. Um, um, she was awesome in school. She, to, to see her, um, you could tell she had Down Syndrome. If she was to walk towards you in the street, you knew she had Down Syndrome. But if you would spend, I spent half an hour with her in the room, you could tell, she, you, know, you would know that she wasn't, she she didn't have Down Syndrome. And she actually turned me off once saying that. I said um, that she wasn't Down syndrome, and she was like, she, she said that I am Down syndrome. I do have Down syndrome, and it was. I was seeing it, and I saw, I saw her. I didn't see a disability. I just saw Claire. Well, there was a lot of places, a lot of people who didn't. Um, there was one day we went to the job centre because she wanted to start working with no dressing. And uh, we got in there and the guy behind the desk was, um, what's her name? She, and she sat right beside me, asked her, how old is she? She sat right beside me, asked her, when the date of birth, she sat right beside of me, asked her, and it was so frustrating because he just wanted to speak to Claire. He was only speak to me. And in the end, I just got Claire, and we walked out of the job centre because he just didn't want to know. He just didn't want to help us. And it was so disheartening for the girl because 
all she wanted was to do a uh, dressing. Um, and happy time, another happy time, I had with Claire, but she came down to my house again. Uh, it was sat in the living room, and it was like, watching telly, and she was like, you know, I'm going to go put the lottery on. Now, Claire hasn't uh, been out of our speaker that long. Uh, it's been told to us. She had to walk very far. And I said, it, there's no place for you, Claire, that actually does a lot of um, this place in Morrison's. Right, let's go Morrison's. It's a 25 minute walk, Claire. Let's go Morrison. I want to put the lottery on. And I was like, no, Claire, I don't think it's good idea for us to walk up because my dad couldn't drive as up at the time. <coughs> Sorry. And she's like, I want to put the lottery on. I want to put the lottery on. In the end, I think we ended up getting a taxi up to Morrison's so she could put this lottery ticket on. And we got we got the lottery ticket. The taxi driver arranged for us. We went back home. Kind of doing what we've been doing during the day. I think she'd bought some work from school. I was up in the wave. Um, we were sat right at the table. At seven o'clock, a dad came. Right, Claire, time to go home. No, I'm not going until I've watched the lottery. And I was like, Claire, no, come on. Seriously, you have to go. I'm not going until I watch the lottery. Claire, no, honestly, we have to go. I'm not going until we've watched the lottery. Um, so, in the end, a dad, my mum said to her dad, you might as well sit down because you ain't going anywhere yet. So, a dad sat down, the lottery came on, sat with another ticket, the girl only went and won £10. And it was the joke, an old joke for years that, look, if you feel the need to put the lottery ticket on, you're telling us because I put the same numbers on as you. <laughs> um, another thing you couldn't do declare is tell her not to do something. Because, um, no, because I said, uh, for my, both my 18th and my 21st, I didn't want a key or a glass or anything with 18 on. All right, then, Heather. No glasses with 18 on, no glasses with 21 on. What did you get me? A glass of 18. Oh, I know you said you did it, but you're 18. It's a law. You have to. And the, the world is just a much darker place without her. Um, so, if you have a friend or someone you care about, um, someone you've not seen in a while because of Chloe's illness. I didn't actually get to see her as much as I'm like after uh, her illness. Just text her, email her, phone her. Don't let it get to the point where one day you just hear her, but not you anymore, but you didn't get to say goodbye. I'll have a big face back, Claire.